This video is going to go over the manual process of connecting your first System 2 board to your Wi-Fi and this will allow you to set and change all the various settings on that board. After that it will then share the details with the rest of your System 2 network so that you only have to do this procedure once. I've placed a System 2 servo driver on the bench and you'll see that the yellow light is flashing about once per second. This tells us that the board is operating normally. Near the green light is a hotspot button. So I'm going to press and hold that for about one second and release. And you'll see that the yellow light is now flashing at twice the rate. This tells us the hotspot is now active on that device. So I'll go to my phone and I'll go into the Wi-Fi configuration and it should scan and locate the servo driver. Might take a couple of seconds to do that. It's woken up, it's having a think. And there's the servo driver. And you can confirm it's the right one because the serial numbers match. Serve 8 B5 ACEC, and that matches the label on the side as well. So I'm going to connect to it, and it's going to go through this little check now to see how, I, how my internet connection is. and it's telling me that the internet's not available. And that's correct because my phone is directly attached to the servo driver. Just say, keep Wi-Fi connection. And now I've got this, connect, this phone connected to the servo driver. I can open up a web browser, new tab. I'm going to go to the page 192.168.1.1. There's a mistype there. 4.1 slash admin. And it'll bring up the web interface from that little board. Here we go. And we again, we can confirm the host name matches the serial number. So I'm connected to the right device. So I'm going to enter the SSID now, which is the uh, network name of my Wi-Fi. On my bench, it's Megapoints and enter the password now. And the password is case sensitive, so you must get this correct. Enter your password and click submit. Now you need to refresh the page. What I do is I pull my finger down on the Android device, confirm resubmission, continue. And that whole exercise was to get that number in blue, which is the IP address of the System 2 board on your network. So it's now connected to your network, spoke to your router, asked it for an IP address, and the router has given it this address. So it's 192.168.0.70, and we'll need that going forwards. So what I should do now is go back to my Wi-Fi settings on my phone, or whatever device you're using, and just disconnect from the servo driver and go back to my normal network. So now on my PC, I'm going to point my browser at the IP address that we were just told, 192.168.0.70. I go to the normal admin interface for that board. So we can check this is B5ACEC, which matches the serial number and I'm connected. So now we're connected, what we can do is we can reboot the board and the unit will restart and then you'll see the LED, the orange or the yellow light return to its, its normal flash.